What is going on YouTube? Dizo here and welcome back to a brand new video in the Arizona Wildcats Dynasty here on College Football 25. And what a week one it was for our Arizona Wildcats taking on our rivals to the east, the New Mexico Lobos. And it was a coming out party here in Arizona for the San Jose State transfer product, Quali Conley. He was able to put up four touchdowns in the victory and help lead the Wildcats to an impressive 35-14 victory, cementing himself as running back number one for the remainder of the season. Now, Justin Flo had 13 tackles in that game, and we definitely need a solid captain on the defensive side of the ball, so it will go to our stud middle linebacker. Now, as we get to know and become more familiar with this roster, I want to start highlighting maybe some lesser known guys who are coming up as well. And that's going to start things off with Genesis Smith, a three star free safety out of Hamilton High School in Hamilton or in Chandler, excuse me, Arizona. He wasn't super highly ranked coming out of high school, but he is very good at playing that hybrid safety role. He is going to be down in the box. He's going to be covering those slot receivers and playing back in zone as well. So expect a lot out of Genesis Smith as we go forward. He has some room to improve as we can see here, pass coverage and run support, but he is a very good athlete, but we definitely want to see his IQ tick up a little bit. He was recruited by Yale. Now let's take a look at the San Diego State Aztecs and they are loaded on the offensive side of the ball. And obviously we talked about Christensen last week and AJ Duffy, their quarterback, but take a look at their offensive line. They match up very well against our front seven. So it's going to be a battle in the trenches. Who is gonna be able to get the ball out on time? Duffy last week threw four touchdowns in a victory. So can this front seven play with this offensive line and that is going to be a question we will have answered here shortly as we get down to field level here at arizona stadium and get ourselves ready for kickoff in week number two well the time for talking is over as we are underway under the lights here in tucson arizona over a hundred degrees here today it is still 92 down on field level as the San Diego State Aztecs receive the kickoff and A.J. Duffy starts for San Diego. Over 325 yards for him last week, four touchdowns, and he starts this one off in the pistol. Second and eight handoff goes for positive yardage down to about the 22-yard line. That'll set up a third and four. Duffy has time, steps up in the pocket, finds his man, and that's going to be enough for a first down as they are finding the zone coverage pretty easy to navigate here early on in this drive as Christensen is going to drive and run this one into Wildcat territory. The blitz is coming. Duffy doesn't care. Fires a strike over to his wide receiver for another first down. Here we go. Second and five. And that could have been dangerous if... He was able to make that connection, but Killebrew was able to get a hand on it and knock that ball away. So that'll set up a third and five from the 30. And Duffy going to find his man in the zone, and it looks like he was untouched coming off the line, completely untouched coming off the line, and a big mix-up there by this secondary and that's going to lead to a first and goal from the three. And Duffy looks like a design quarterback run. And he is going to be stopped before he makes any progress. And is dropped down at the seven. Third and goal. Duffy has time. Finds his man. And that's a strike into the end zone for a touchdown. And the San Diego State Aztecs take the lead as Malik Shaw is in the end zone for a touchdown. And it is seven nothing San Diego. Already with the ball in positive territory. Here are the Wildcats down to about the 47-yard line after a good return to start their first possession. And that's going to be forced over to T-Mac. And it was almost intercepted. You're going to see two guys over T-Mac all day today. 
as Kwali Conley starts off where he left off in week number one with a great run there for positive yardage, setting up third and inches from the 14-yard line. And Fafita is going to flip this one over to Conley, and he's going to do it again into the end zone for a touchdown. The Wildcats getting into the end zone and tying this game up again on the back of Quali Conley. Now, what about San Diego? What are they going to do? It's going to be another handoff to Christensen this time, and he's going to make a couple guys miss and get out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Duffy again, going to hand this one off, and he goes nowhere. Tahi Tahi Ugalele is going to be there to make the TFL for the Wildcats. Second and 14, a little screen here, and Flo overruns the screen, and it goes for big yardage. Down to the 45 now, third and seven. Another drop pass into this zone as they are really afraid of these receivers. They are very quick getting behind them. Duffy now has time until he doesn't, and Duffy goes down and is holding his midsection after that sack. We'll take a look at this one. That was Sterling Lane the second putting the hit on Duffy. So that means the San Diego State Aztecs going to have to go to the bench, bring out Kyle Crum, and he's immediately going to be blitzed. And guess who is in the backfield? Genesis Smith with the sack, and that will knock them out of field goal range. We will take over at the 23-yard line as that's going to be checked down by Noah Fafita. Last week, obviously, dealing with that impingement on his finger. It's going to be some play action and chucking this one down the field. And that was caught by the safety there for San Diego State, but out of bounds. After a quick stop by this Arizona Wildcat defense, it's going to be Noah Fafita again. And this offensive line starting to struggle against this front seven for San Diego State, not giving Fafita a whole lot of time. But when he does get just enough, he drops in dimes just like that for a first down back into wildcat territory from the 38 with time throws this one over and he looked like that could have been a big play if he placed that ball a little better third and five from the 38 and that is going to be caught for a first down by Lamonius craig and that's going to set up a first and 10 from the 26. A flag on the play, but intercepted. Going the other way for the Aztecs. That would have been the first interception on the season for Noah Fafita. But Josh Hunter, the strong safety, got in the way. And that'll set up a first and 10 from the 11-yard line. Throw goes short. And that's going to be caught down to the four yard line and now Fafita gonna scramble he should have just stayed in the pocket and down he goes at the 11 yard line not where you want to be losing yardage here if you're Arizona third and 10 from the 11 trying to float this one to the back of the end zone and it is incomplete and so that will bring out the field goal team as with this new field goal interface every field goal is an adventure but this one goes through 10 to 7 Arizona here with just a few seconds left in the second quarter. What is the Aztecs going to do? Well, they're not going to just take a knee as this is going to be a big first down for San Diego and they are starting to drive down to the 43 under 20 seconds left. Another completion this time to the tight end in the middle of the field. And that'll set them up from the 43-yard line. Moving quickly. Duffy, plenty of time. Finds a man in space. And that's going to be enough for the Aztecs to take a timeout and try a field goal from the 33. And that is right down Broadway. A tie game for the Aztecs. Not giving up at all. And not afraid of Arizona. They match up well. They know it. And they are leading in time of possession and passing yards and total yards. So what can we do on the defensive side of the football, especially in this secondary, to make some plays in the second half? 
If we don't watch out, it's going to be big play for big play the remainder of the game. As that comes, a big play by the defense of the Aztecs. And that sets up a second and 12. And guess what happens here? A nice little out route by Miranda. And that's going to be enough for a first down down to the 48-yard line. The tight end safety blanket doing his job for Noah Fafita. He's going to have time. He's going to throw this one to the left. And they are double and triple coverage on T-Mac. So it's got to come from somewhere else. And that's when you give it to Speedy Luke on the Wildcat toss. That's going to be all the way down to the end zone for a touchdown. Speedy Luke coming out of the Wildcat formation, trying to make plays without a guy like T-Mac. It makes everybody else work 10 times harder. And Speedy Luke says, you know what? Quality Condry is good, but so am I. How about the Aztecs looking to answer? Duffy throws this one to the tight end. That's going to be enough for a first down. I feel like every time A.J. Duffy is back to pass, he is getting a first down no matter zone or man-to-man, -man, blitz or not. He is making plays, and this offense is definitely a lot better than I expected. Now this time out of the pistol, room to run down to the 15 down to the 10, down to the 5, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Aztecs. They answer right back. What did we just say? We have to put helmets on helmets, or we're going to have a big problem here. Is This is going to be tipped, and it's going to be caught by Lamonius Craig down across the 35 to the 25, the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Wildcats. Big play for big play here in the second half, and the Wildcats go back on top this is going to be tipped by two different aztecs and then grabbed for a touchdown an absolute wild play right here in week number two giving our wildcats the lead here in quarter number three but do you think the aztecs are going to lay down and take it probably not as this is going to be thrown out to the flat and Almost enough for a first down, second and two from the 23-yard line. And Christensen just running whenever he wants to, wherever he wants to. A.J. Duffy really using the pass to open up the run. Look at the time he has. Finds an open man, and that is going to be well into Wildcat territory here again. San Diego going shot for shot with the Wildcats this time. On the other side of the field, inside the 10, down to the two-yard line. And here we go. I mean, just some more miscommunication here by the Wildcats. Three receivers, three defensive backs, and he just gets lost in space. And Duffy is able to find him from the two-yard line. They're going to go play action and to the end zone. Duffy, another touchdown on the books for him this season and the Aztecs answer back 24 to 24 under a minute 20 here in the third as we're going to hand this one off to Speedy Luke and that's going to be almost enough for a first down give us a third and one from the 46 we're going to hand this one off to Conley and that's going to give us the first down running hard on that left side as they will spread out the San Diego Aztecs. And it doesn't matter because the blitz gets there. Trey White, the left end, sophomore, able to get there and make the play. Noah Fafita is going to throw this one down. And that's going to be caught. Speedy Luke, he does it again this time through the air. He had one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside and was able to make the best of it unbelievable one-on-one -on -one, you got your running back out there and he makes you pay another big play for the wildcats this time what are the aztecs gonna do well they're just gonna flip this one into open space to their tight end and he's gonna make a play and that's exactly what he does back into arizona territory shot for shot it's like a heavyweight fight out here aj duffy now into the middle of the field between the hashes Another big play, another big first down. This Arizona secondary looking porous, and there it is. Another touchdown for the Aztecs as they answer right back. If you had the over in today's game, congratulations. You are a happy man. 
Noah Fafita now has time. He throws, and that's almost intercepted, trying to force that one into double or triple coverage for T-Mac. Noah Fafita now again throws for T-Mac, and that is knocked away fourth and eight. And the Wildcats will have to punt in a back-and-forth battle to see if the Aztecs can make anything happen. This is going to be thrown over to the right side and almost picking up the first down. Now we're going to just hand this one off, and it is a huge stop by the Wildcats defense, and this is going to be punted over to Speedy Luke. I mean, he has already made so many plays. He's not going to do it again, is he? He's not going to do it again, is he? He's across the 45, makes his man miss, but is finally caught from behind down to the 49-yard line. And that'll give Noah Fafita and the Wildcats the ball there. Fafita lobs one. This one off to the sideline for a first down. Second and 13 after a sack. Not again as Fafita is going to be rushed and just get rid of this one. Setting up a third and 13. The pass rush starting to get there. Lobbing this one to the end zone. And it's another touchdown. Able to put enough English on this one. Get it over the head of Phillips the cornerback and a beautiful dime here by Noah Fafita if he was able to make a couple more of those maybe this wouldn't be so close of a game two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock AJ Duffy going he has a man it is knocked away unbelievable guess who Takario Davis with the pass deflection there saving the game and then it's going to be a huge sack A.J. Duffy had nowhere to go, and down he goes at the 26-yard line. Sets up a third and 23. Going to go underneath here, setting up a fourth and 15. Time setting to expire here for the Aztecs. Goes underneath again, and it's Davis, and that will give the Arizona Wildcats the ball back with a minute 45 on the clock again. Noah Fafita trying to force this one to T-Mac into double coverage. And it is incomplete, setting up a third and seven from the 37. And he should have handed this one off on the option route. And that is going to be a timeout for the Aztecs. And, oh boy, here we go. That field goal unit is uh, going to have some questions in practice. They miss it, setting up a nail-biter ending here with a minute 30. And Justin Flo is going to get there for the sack, knocking them back to the 29-yard line. But A.J. Duffy going to have the Aztecs moving super quick here, down to the 44, third and six. That's going to be caught by the tight end into Arizona Wildcat territory, down to the 35 to throw across the middle again. And that is going to be caught. And it is a huge Upset brewing here in Tucson. Down to the 17. The throw is going to be off to the right to Pope. He catches this one down to the 13. Setting up a second and seven. And then there he goes. Sterling Lane with the sack. 30 seconds. Clock still running. This is going to be knocked away. And that's going to be Javon Sykes knocking that one away. Down to the 22. Fourth and 16. And it's going to be knocked away again. And that's going to do it. Tradan Stooks with the block. And the Wildcats are going to hold on in a crazy bout here against the San Diego State Aztecs. Pulling this one off 38 to 31. Now, offensively, we have some questions. Defensively, we have a lot of questions. A heavyweight bout here with San Diego State. When we are ranked number 14 in the country, we should have had a little bit more rushing yards, a little bit more first downs, probably some more passing yards, but we were in a fight for our lives all evening long. And we are super lucky to come out of this one with a victory. We just happened to make enough big plays to keep us in this game. 333 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions for Noah Fafita. Another touchdown and 59 yards for Conley. And Rayshon Luke, I mean, whoa. What a game for him. Lamonius Craig, 122 yards and a touchdown. 77 yards, 84 on his long. Luke went 55 yards. Roberto Miranda went 34 yards. I mean, we were making 
crazy plays all over the field. Uh, Malik Riley had a nasty touchdown that won over in the back of the end zone as well. So it was super fun to see all of these different contributors for the Arizona offense. But that defense was definitely questionable. Gunnard Maldonado, Takario Davis. When you start seeing a majority of your secondary guys, especially your safeties, are the ones that have the majority of the tackles, that's not good. That is not ideal. Now, the interesting thing here is we were getting pressure. We were getting pressure once we were able to win and we were kind of forcing them into some of those longer routes and we were able to get, you know, guys like Howard, Lane, Manu was in the backfield a couple times. So once we were able to make that happen, we were able to get the pressure, but that secondary definitely struggled a lot. Now, let's take a look at some recruiting news. Not a whole lot has changed. We were in first for a majority of these guys already. We continue to be in first place for them going into week number three. And it continues with the remainder of our board. There really hasn't been too much movement. There's been a lack of movement, if anything, with some of these players especially when it looks like we are in the lead for a majority of them. David Crisenberry, for some reason, hasn't really moved at all. Uh, we have not cracked his top nine, so I don't really think that's going to be a player we continue to go after. But for the most part, like I said, we are continuing to make a, a progress, a little bit of progress in some of these players uh, as far as the recruiting goes. But... I think I'm going to have a full recruiting video for you guys later. But next week, Big 12 action on the channel. Number 13, Arizona. Number 24, K-State. But number 24 because they lost last week, 38 to 33 to Tulane. This looks like on paper from what we can see here from the box score and the player stats that it was a heavyweight shootout they're in Tulane as well, but the Wildcats for Kansas State were not able to answer when it mattered. And this is a pretty, again, this is a pretty solid roster. They have a great quarterback. If you think AJ Duffy was good, Avery Johnson, at least here in the overview and ratings portion, is actually better. So very hesitant to see what this defensive secondary can do for the wildcats going up against kansas state and what they are going to be able to do because they again have a good solid offensive line they got playmakers and we've got to make sure we're able to do something and make some changes heading into week number three so that's going to be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed if you did hit this video with a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for some more Arizona Wildcats football here on College Football 25. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out. And as always, I'll catch you guys later.